don't know why I didn't think of that. <clears throat> okay, you're go you're good to go. <laughs> I'm good to go. Okay, I need cues. What do you have? Five, four, three, two. Hi there, everybody. I don't know where we are, but it doesn't make any difference. Do you have any jokes? Yep. Number one is classified information. I asked the TV station why they wouldn't print my uh, newspaper ad, and they said it was classified information. Number two is all the mistakes. I think people watch this program because they like to watch all the mistakes that Glendora makes. Number three is windows on my computer. I like the windows on my Hewlett Packard. Do you know why, Amy? No. They don't have to be washed. <laughs> uh, four is clean bill of health. Did the doctor give you a clean bill of health? No. He won't do that until my check clears. <laughs> Five is sugar bowl. The, uh... Football team turned down their invitation to the Sugar Bowl because the quarterback had diabetes. Number six is fell asleep. Oh, the football fan. He fell asleep watching uh, Monday Night Football. And in the morning, his wife shook him on the shoulder and said, Wake up, wake up, it's 20 to 7. And he said, Who's favor? Married four times. Woman married four times. First she married a banker. Then she married an actor. Then she married a minister. And then she married an undertaker. One for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, and four to go. Afford Niagara. A couple couldn't afford to go to Niagara Falls for their honeymoon, so they went to the car wash instead. <laughs> Same as when married. Oh, honey, the husband said he wanted to make his wife feel young and vibrant. And he says, honey, you look the same as you did 25 years ago. And she said, that's because I'm wearing the same dress. <laughs> The last one is garage, grounds, and beat you up. Uh, a woman was saying she couldn't get along with her husband. Does he have a grudge? And she says, no, we have a carport. Uh, he asked her, uh, does he beat you up? And she says, no, I'm up before he is every morning. And he said, to, what was one of the other one there, Amy? Garage grounds and beat you up. <laughs> oh, do you have grounds for divorce? Do you have grounds? And she says, about an acre and a half. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's how we misunderstand each other. Continue. The Bible passage is John 16:33. Oh, would you read it to us slowly, dear? I've said these things to you so that you will have peace in me. In the world you have distress, but be encouraged. I have conquered the world. Folks, let's make believe this is love talking. Love says... You have peace in me. If you're loving and kind, you have peace. But if you go to the world, which is selfishness, egotism, and me first, what do you have? Trouble, does it say? What's it say, Amy? In the world, you have distress. Yeah, you have distress. But peace says, don't worry. I have conquered the world. We have. We're going to. We're going to. We're going to. We're going to conquer selfishness. It doesn't exist. It's a hoax. It's a fake. Don't even think about it. Think more about good than you do about bad. Thanks, Amy. What else are there? Is there any words? 
Uh, the first word is advance. Advance. Let us all advance, folks. Let us all advance. We're going back to listen to Mr. Wayne Collins as soon as we finish the jokes and the hymn and the Bible passage. Next, hun. Adventitious. Adventitious is um, something that is acquired. It is not something that you get intrinsically. Mm -hmm. It's something that you acquire extrinsically. Next one, honey. Adventure. An adventure is a bold undertaking in which hazards are to be met and the issue hangs on unforeseen circumstances. Adventurer. An adventurer is somebody who wants things without merited uh, reason. In other words, he doesn't have a merit for what he wants. And the last one is adventurous. An adventure, an adventure is adventurous. Yeah, adventurous. Yeah, yeah. adventurous is liking to take bold steps forward, advance. Hey, that was good. What else is there? Does it say a hymn anywhere? The bottom one says hymns. Be thou the vision. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart. Let all else for me but thou art. Thou my best thought by night or by day. Waking or sleeping, thy presence my light. Thank you, Amy. Now we'll go back to Wayne Collins. Okay. Thanks. Does it tell you how long that last segment was? Seven minutes and 27 seconds. Thank you so much, honey.